My mom sees the North Star and calls out to my sister because she's infinitely attached to the stars now, and why shouldn't she be? What rules exist anywhere that say we need to believe one thing or the other? The stars have been an obsession since I was born. El Paso's desert sky towed the line between New Mexico's endless horizon, and I was born in the evening as those gods of Aztec night carried darkness from behind the mountain star and sprinkled the placid black with sacred light and grew moon from the universe. The universe that sought to pull me from the wreckage of one fire, burning endless under desert sun for the smoldering cornfield and the ember of Midwest malaise, nostalgic for the inferno of familiarity and dark brown skin, scalded with sweat, the stench of pedophiles and suicide sitting poolside seared in. Hoping to make my way back as I sang songs under the moon like the magic of old cartoons would carry my tune through the stars to this home I could never quite remember. I spent my life hoping ghosts wouldn't, from the streets that I used to roam would never make their way to me. I traced constellations into the graves of memories I couldn't bear to remember, but I didn't know the way those coffins would sing when my feet felt the thunder of Texas storms once again, the way the rain shifted dirt beneath me to unbury the things I tried to run away from. The demons didn't need to attach themselves. I would always find my way here because the stars were guiding me back, and why shouldn't they? Why shouldn't poetry be the truth? Why can't my sister's soul be attached to the North Star? And why can't the stars have guided me here? The corpses of old regrets lay scattered under streetlights, and I finally understood what my purpose is in this city illuminated by the great neon hope grafted to the side of that ancient and dead god, that titan carrying a distant sun like Atlas caresses the earth and falls weak on those days when he could no longer shrug his burden. I have been speaking my dreams and my pains to vast starways where they become one with the dust of infinity. The pillars of creation become the resting place for my traumas and I become stronger and why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't my words speak magic into the universe the way my sister's soul lingers in each piece of art I create and the North Star and why shouldn't they? I know now why those etchings of dying suns are carved onto the inside of my eyelids. I know now why my poetry is littered with eulogies to dancing lights and their memories. I've seen the sun form and bend. I've watched the death of suns still to be discovered. I have been following the stars my whole life. I never realized they were leading me back home. Thank you.